Mary had the blondest hair that I have ever known. Nazi blonde would have been the name of the hair dye. She was probably the most conventionally hot girl I've ever been with. Solid 9 out of 10. So naturally I was scared the whole time because I knew that she was way too good for me. We were together for exactly 2 months and 13 days when she called out of nowhere and dumped me. I guess she finally figured out that she was way too good looking for me. Whatever. Sarah and I were together for 5 months. Or was it 6? Anyways, she had no hair dye worthy colour and was pretty much average looking. I felt way more comfortable being with her in public because on the hotter and not spectrum we pretty much evened out. She had this weird thing though that whenever she laughed she would clap like a circus seal. It was fine at first but by 5 maybe 6 months it started to annoy the shit out of me so much so that I went out of my way to not make her laugh. <laughs> she ended things with a text message and I did not have to ask her why. I went out of my way to make her unhappy. I would have broken up with me too. Alicia was my most recent endeavor at trying not to die alone. We went on a mind-blowing record of three dates before things ended. At first glance, you knew she had a good personality, and then eventually you could see her good looks. Most importantly, she had an acceptable laugh. Thank Christ. That said, I honestly don't know what went wrong. I was the perfect gentleman. I did the confirmation text before the date, the door opening spiel, paid for her dinner, let her talk a lot. All the things that guys are supposed to do, right? I don't know what I did to fuck it up, but after our last date, she stopped picking up. Fucking bitch. One of my friends once told me that I should forget about dating and love and just be single. It'd empower me. Sounds like a feminist. I personally believe, on the other hand, being single just gives you an excuse for more self-wallowing. It's not like I want to go through life alone, because no one wants to go through life alone. If anyone says otherwise, they're a fucking liar. Just sorts of ends up being that way. I don't know why. And, you know, you bug friends with questions they can't answer. Some people find their true love, or whatever you want to call it, early in life. Others, like myself, are destined by some supernatural force to be alone for a long time before finding that one person. Some people are meant to be alone and devote their life to some great cause, like religion or porn. Sadly, I'm neither a priest nor Hugh Hefner. But whatever you have been given, you make the best of it. Because you have to. You don't have any other option because no one has given you any other option. You make the best of it because it's the only way. Yeah, like to order a large pizza for delivery? Yeah. Bacon and pepperoni? We could just speed it up a wee bit. Hang on, hang on. Hello? Yeah, what's up, mate? How you been? No, yeah, I'm fine. Fine. Yes, I mean it. Oh, yeah, that thing, that thing the other night, right. Uh, oh, it's just busy, just busy, being productive, doing stuff around the house, stuff like that. No, yeah, I'm fine, promise. We'll hang out soon. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, we'll talk to you later. Hello? Hey, what's up? No, yeah, I'm just, uh, I hate to say it, but I'm actually kind of busy tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a date. I read about it once in a book. Now I'm going on one. Yeah, met her at work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's a looker, all right. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll talk to you another time. It's a cycle. At least I'm an addict who acknowledges it. <laughs>